Hi, welcome to the Games Planner. I'm Jeff the Games Planner, and today I'm Games Planning Photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a game that came out this year, 2017. We are still in 2017 as of the filming of this video. It is a relatively straightforward game. Uh, I would actually probably put it in the realms of the Gateway Games. It has a really wonderful, wonderful table presence to it. Uh, in the game you are a type of tree and you are trying to get as much sun onto your tree type as you can in order to build more trees uh, and grow your trees larger to be able to finish their cycle they call it. Um, let's read between the lines that means cut them down and when you cut them down you get points depending on where on the board your tree is so the further towards the middle of the board the more fertile the soil so therefore the more points you get. At the end of each round the sun will shift one position further around the track and will therefore put different trees into shade and so therefore they don't get the points necessary for growth in future rounds and that will continue around. So the game is very thinky because you're not only thinking about how much point, how many points am I able to get um, this round, how many points am I able to set myself up to get next round, but also where am I able to position myself so that I can maximize the position of the sun while minimizing the position of the sun on other players. And that's where the game gets really, really tricky. Uh, there is actually a variant on the rules to make it a little bit harder in which you are not able to grow any trees that don't have sun on them. So if a tree wasn't able to get any points this turn, it's not going to be able to grow this turn either. I haven't played with that rule yet, but it seems like it's an extra bit of of messiness. Uh, if you like games that are attacky on your opponents, then that might actually be a really good rule to keep in. If you don't like messing with what your um, other players are doing, I reckon keep it out. But that's just me. Um, this game, it, as I say, it has a really good table presence to it. The pieces you are using are these three-dimensional trees and they get all the way across the board. They look fantastic. I've, um, I'm not sure if you're aware, but if you've been following me on Instagram and or Twitter, uh, you will have seen that I put up a photo every time I play a game and one of the photos that just looks spectacular is this one. This game, whenever it's been photographed, you've just got this, 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 there's a great three dimensions to this game. I've found that I really like games that have a third dimension to them. So, um, just for the pure toy value, the pure, this looks awesome value of it, this is a worthwhile game to play. There is enough thinking in this game to make it not just the standard, uh, gateway game fair. The, the, you, 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 you're constantly constantly trying to weigh up your decisions. Uh, not only do you have to grow these trees, but you also have to make decisions about purchasing trees off your board. You've got to purchase trees off that board to then be able to grow the trees in this forest. I'm not quite sure thematically how that works, but it's an extra step that you've got to kind of keep your head on. And whenever you grow a tree, so say I've got a small tree, I grow it to a medium tree, my small tree will get returned onto my own player board. If there's not a space on that player board, that tree gets removed from the game altogether. Um, I don't know how much of a negative that is, losing trees from the game altogether, until you start losing many of them, because the further up your line of trees you go, the more expensive it is to get them off your board. There's a balancing act. All the way through this game is a balance, balance, balance. The points values of each of the levels of tree aren't hugely significant in that if I get the middle one, it's going to take someone two or three times on other spots to be able to catch up to those points, but it's enough to make a big difference if I get the middle one and and everyone else, so everyone's getting the same number of tokens, there's enough of a difference in them for it to be significant on the end. Because in the end of this game, there's actually not a heap of, of scoring tiles that are coming out um, that you're all adding together. So your ability to work through that quickly, because you've also got to weigh up, when do I cut this tree down? When do I finish the cycle of this tree? Because while that tree is standing on your board, on the, on the board, when it gets sun, and it's going to get sun unless it's got a, another large tree giving it a shadow, it's going to get sun every time and it's worth three sun points every time it gets that sun. And it's going to be shadowing something behind it every time. Because it is large, it casts a shadow for three spaces. It's, it's going to really be getting in the way. So you've got to weigh up, when is the best time for me to actually cut this tree down 
because when I cut it down, I no longer get those three points. I'm not gonna have that three points in the next round, but I need to cut it down in order to be able to actually get points. And there's only two large trees for each player. So at some point, if I get two large trees on the table, I'm going to have to cut at least one of them down just to keep the other trees able to keep growing and keep getting more points. Look, I really like this game. I think it's a good... It's a good game. It's a good game. It's another game by the um, people at Blue Orange. Um, they brought us King Domino and Queen Domino, or as my friends have been calling it, King Domino, um, which was... A, was a fairly significant game this year. Uh, I think it was up for the spiel from memory. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong on that. But it's... Look, this company look like they've just come into finding some some good level of games and some games that are going to get people into gaming but have a little difference to them and have some fairly good quality to their components, some good bright artwork going on. Um, I really appreciate this game. I think it's great. I think it's a worthwhile game to play. So please go on and watch my videos to get an idea of how the game plays and what the rules are. It's relatively straightforward. If you have any comments or suggestions, please write them below. If you've got any games that you wish to be games playing, please shoot me an email at thegamesplainer at gmail.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at thegamesplainer to see what games I've been playing, subscribe to my videos to keep up to date with the games that I'm gamesplaining, and until next time, enjoy gaming!